In a press release from June the 5th, 2023, the World Health Organization announced the Digital Health Initiative. What this means is that the EU COVID-19 Digital Certificate System will be used as a foundation to a global standard for future pandemics, according to their own words. This is very important because nearly the whole world population lives in a WHO member country. I won't comment on the political aspects of this, but I will comment on some technical aspects, specifically the QR code part, which are used to represent these certificates. A couple of years ago, I wrote a Python script, just for fun, to read the COVID-19 certificates. This script is able to read and decode the QR codes both live from a webcam or from a static image. The one thing that my script is unable to do is to check if the certificate is actually valid. It is only able to extract its data. At the time, the EU released several documents concerning the implementation of this certificate system, including the structure of the QR codes. You find the links to these documents in the video description. The structure is not that difficult to understand once you get to know the various parts. If you scan one of these QR codes with a smartphone, you will notice that the text seems to be just random alphanumerical characters. That string is, in fact, a base 45 of a compressed and cryptographically signed JSON payload. The interesting part of all this is, of course, the JSON payload. The official apps provided by some European governments usually show you only the first name, last name, date of birth and validity of the certificate. But in reality, there's much more. The JSON payload contains lots of data, including the issuing and expiration date of the certificate, the name of the vaccine, called medicinal product, the time and number of injected doses, and even the targeted disease or agent. This last variable is very important. It means that the people who designed this system probably had in mind to extend it sometime in the future. If that was not the case, then why set COVID-19 with a specific code? Other variations of these COVID-19 certificates include the ones obtained via a swab by healing after the disease or the ones obtained by a non-positivity test. To keep things simple, in this video we'll concentrate only on the ones generated from vaccination events. You can read the full list of the values in the document called Guidelines on Value Sets for Digital Green Certificates. So, to read one of these QR codes, the steps are six. One, decode the base 45 text. Two, decompress it. Three, extract the payload and ignore the signature. 4. Validate the extracted JSON through the schema. This is an optional step, but it's useful to check for errors. 5. Dump the JSON to a Python dict. And finally 6. Profit by using this data as you please. Now I'll show you my script. Firstly, the image is read either by a webcam or an image file and decoded to text by its dead bar. Once you skip the health certificate version preamble, you must decode the rest of the text, which is in base 45. The resulting data is compressed with Zlib, and so by decompressing it, you can notice some readable text here and there. What you see in this step is binary data called CBOR, concise binary object representation. In particular, the design decision was to use CODES, CBOR object signing and encryption, which encapsulate a cryptographical signature of the payload. By using the flim.decoder.loads method from the flim Python module, it is possible to extract just the payload. At this point, you have the JSON. You can validate it and transform it into a Python dict. Once you have the data, you can pretty print it or save it in a database, for example. Here I created the beautify function that writes a one-liner human readable string with all the main data. 
By reading the technical specifications, it is very simple to determine what each field means and what all the codes correspond to. Now I'll show you the script in action. I'll use images from the DGC test data repository. As the name suggests, these QR codes have been generated by the governments for testing purposes only, so we can use them safely without violating privacy. Each country participating in, in the EU DGC has uploaded a series of these examples. Here's what happens when you read a QR code from a webcam. I printed a couple of them. Something that was not part of the original specifications and was added later on was to revoke this certificate for some reason through a remote blacklist. A reinstate function is also available. This feature is very powerful and possibly dangerous in my opinion. So what I'm trying to say here is to be aware of all this and most importantly take care of how you share these certificates. Don't do like some people that unknowingly share their QR codes on the eDonkey network. That's it for this video, like and subscribe to see more of this content, bye bye.